Hey guys, it's Duct Tape Susie, and this is the Duct Taper of the Week video. I am super excited. Uh, I just want to tell you guys, if you don't know what the Duct Taper of the Week is, it's just very simple. If you have a unique tutorial that you don't see every day, you can let me know about it. I'll craft something from your tutorial, and then I'll feature you in one of my upcoming weeks. So if you do have something that's different than a normal bifold, go ahead and comment down below where I can find your tutorial, or you can email me at ducttapesusie at gmail.com, or you can also send me a message in my inbox or on Facebook. So um, the, the duct taper of the week I chose this week was Eve the Craft Lady. Uh, first of all, I checked out her tutorial, and I wasn't sure at first because it was a card pocket tutorial, and because I was doing something unique, I couldn't think of a unique way to do a card pocket until I watched her tutorial. And I fell in love with a card pocket. So first of all, let's get started showing you that. And then I'll show you all the different um, ways of making it. So the first thing I came up with was, well, first let me show you her card pocket technique. It's like an accordion style card pocket where they are put together. There's, um, they're nice and thick. You can actually stuff quite a bit of cards in them. And I had cards sitting out here, but... I have to take them out. So um, that's the reason I like them. A lot of people in my family, especially the men, like to put like five cards per card pocket whenever I make them a bifold or a trifold. And I thought this would be perfect for that because I have five cards right here. And they all fit just in that one little pocket. And there's three all together. So that is her technique on how to make the card the card pocket. And you can just kind of go with different possibilities on the way that you want to incorporate it into your duct tape crafts. I thought it was a genius plan. I absolutely love it. And um, because it has the accordion style, when putting this together, I made a sheet, a duct tape sheet, and then, you know, again, another one on top of that, um, basically just to make a, um, a sheet to wrap this up in. And when I did, it also gave me the little pocket back here and then the little pocket up front here. So, um, I also made this into a keychain by attaching a little um, hook right here and a keychain and a little hook. So, I absolutely love the idea of it being a keychain because I am the kind of person, yes, I like, I love purses, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them, but when I'm going into a gas station or if I'm going in somewhere and I want to be really fast, this is exactly what I want on my keychain. I want to be able to just open it up, know where my money is and my cards. I don't like to make people wait in line. So this is a perfect um, idea for that. I absolutely love it. I'm putting one on my keychain probably today. Um, and I loved it so much that I made another one. And this one I made for my mom. It's basically the same thing. It's just a keychain. Um, so I'm going to call these a keychain accordion. And I'm probably going to start selling them. So thank you so much, Eve the Craft Lady, for coming out with this unique pocket. I absolutely love it. And I also thought about it, for men, it would be perfect to add a key fob to it. Um, so this is something they could hook to their belt loop or just to carry around if they want to carry it around. Um, these would be great if you're going to a concert, if you're going shopping in the mall, if you're going to um, a, a county fair or amusement park. These are something that's very simple to hold on to without having to haul around a huge purse or a wallet. You can very simply wear it. It has like a little Velcro spot there. So you can attach to your belt loop and be hands-free. Or um, once again, you can wear it on your wrist. So that was one of the other features that came up with it. And then this one I absolutely love because it'd be great for teenagers, uh, people going to school. I attached it to a lanyard hook um, because it's something you can wear. And you're still hands-free. It's around your neck. I love this idea for the casino. When I go to the casino, I don't want to haul around a bunch of stuff in my purse and dig through it trying to find my money. This is wrapped around my neck. I'm not going to lose it. And my money's in here and one of these little tighter sections. And then I have like my casino cards or my debit cards stuck in there. So I absolutely love this idea for that, um, the hands-free type of thing. And then my last attempt at making something with the with a special accordion pockets from the Eva Craft Lady was this coupon organizer. And in case you guys don't know, I used to be a huge couponer 
Um, you see those extreme couponing on TV? That was totally me. I would, did not. I was not featured on the show, no. Um, but I was one of those people. I would hoard the stuff. I had a whole room full of stuff. And I would have loved to have this while I was couponing. So if I ever go back to couponing, this is something I will be using. And I'll probably be using this um, either way because you can use it for more than just a couponing. But anyways, once again, I, fe I did her three it gives you three pockets. Um, all I did was I adjusted the measurements. She gives you the measurements for card pockets, and I just made it taller and wider, and um, basically I did like a seven inch times three to get the strips that she tells you um, in the very beginning of the, of the video. And I just made them three inches wide, and that's just how I got the accordion style for the coupon organizer. And once again, you have the front and the back panel that you can use for cash. But the thing I love about this the most is, say you're going to um, one of your pharmacies like um, Rite Aid or CVS, I think it's called, or Walgreens, you put your store card in there and put your coupons for that store right there. And then say your next stop, you're going to go to the grocery store, to Kroger's or something, you put your card in there and your coupons with your list for that store. And then once again, these are all gas stations, I guess, if you go into your next store, craft store, or whatever, you have your coupons there. It also holds your receipts for you. Um, I know, like, a lot of the pharmacies um, carry, like, the e ECB uh, rewards or the up rewards, and you can put those right in there with your card. And then this back section, there's um, no card pocket. It's basically meant for your money. So that is the coupon organizer that I came up with out of using her card technique. And if you, like I said, you have to go check out her video. And it's, I think it's great for any um, any level of experience that you may have duct taping. It's very simple. She, it's um, a longer tutorial, but I like it because she doesn't miss any details. She gives you step by step, and she's doing it with you, so you can just lay out your duct tape and start with her. And that's exactly what I did. I just started throwing some strips together and doing exactly what she was doing throughout the whole video. And then I came up with this whole um, back panel all by myself. So if you've made accordion wallets before with basic like the um, accordion little pieces, you wouldn't need the pieces anymore, but you could still make your bottom sheet the same as you would for an accordion style, but with this, the measurements for your card pockets. And then you would have your front and your back pocket as well, so it makes it into the five pocket. So. Yeah, I suggest this for anybody, and like I said, this can be used for a man, a woman, a teenager, a kid. It's perfect. Um, so thank you again, Eve the Craft Lady, for commenting down below on one of my recent videos for the uh, Duct Taper of the Week. And um, yeah, so thanks again, everybody. Go check her out. It's amazing. And... Yeah, so if you want to be featured in an upcoming week, don't forget to comment down below where I can find your tutorial. And once again, I don't tell anybody in advance that I'm even, uh, that I'm even going to feature them, and I don't ever message them. So I, you may just be the next person that I pick. You'll just have to watch for next week to see if you're the one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.